Okay, so I'm here in our guest room where all the baby stuff is. This will also be his room. And I'm just about to start getting everything off the hangers and getting everything sorted so that I can wash these clothes. Ah, <sighs> you guys, the baby's gonna be here before we know it. They're talking about possibly inducing me in three weeks, and that Mommy. seems really fast. Hold on, son. So yeah, let me get my life together and give you guys a little update on this pregnancy and what's going on with this giant baby in my bed. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another pregnancy update. I am 34 weeks pregnant today. My last update was at 30 weeks, so exactly four weeks ago. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a belly shot. It has grown tremendously in the last four weeks. Give you guys a little update on what's been going on. Plus I'm gonna be folding and putting away all the newborn clothes. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, let's chat, catch up about this giant baby growing in my belly and all things pregnancy number four. If you are new to my channel, please introduce yourself in the comments. I'd love to get to know you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the familia over here at Exo Jalisa and keep updated on the craziness that is my life as a pregnant mama of three and a half boys. Uh, yeah, let's get started. You guys, it is so hot. I cannot sacrifice the fan, so sorry if you hear the fan so loud. I hope my mic doesn't pick it up too much. But anyways, um, I finally went through the baby clothes. I have, if you're new here, you haven't been following me along on Instagram or my channel, I have three little boys already. This is my fourth boy. This little guy deserves some new stuff. So anyways, I finally went through what we did have left over from the boys, all of our baby shower stuff, and took out all of the clothes that were size newborn to three to six months, washed them, and now I'm sorting through them and putting them away. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do while we're doing this video. So let me give you guys a little update. Let me tell you what my baby app says about the baby today. It says, your baby is the size of a cantaloupe. Your baby now weighs four and three fourth pounds and is almost 18 inches long. His fat layers, which help regulate his body temperature once he's born, are filling out, making him rounder. His skin is smoother. His central nervous system is maturing. His lungs are continuing to mature. Um, it also talks about how you're probably fatigued, peeing all the time, restless at night, you might get itchy, all these things. And so that's the update. So funny thing is that it says that this week the baby should weigh four and three fourth pounds, but at our 32 week ultrasound two weeks ago, he was measuring almost five and a half pounds. So he was measuring in the 98th percentile, uh, but he was measuring short still like 16 inches, but in the 90th percentile for size, my stomach also is frequently measuring um, two to three weeks ahead. So at my appointment yesterday, my belly was measuring 36, 37 weeks. And um, so it kind of goes in line with me having a big baby. So I think the consensus is that I'm gonna have a really big baby. Um, Uriah was my biggest baby. He was born at 38 weeks, eight and a half pounds, 20 inches long. Okay, you guys, the fan was so loud. I turned it down, <laughs> hopefully you can hear me a little bit better. But anyways, um, so a little update. I, in my last video, I shared that I felt like my first trimester symptoms were returning, and that has alleviated a little bit more. I'm not feeling nauseous anymore. Um, I am just really exhausted still, but I think that that is unavoidable. Um, so, my last video I shared that I had only gained like 14 pounds, well I have gained 20 pounds. So in the last four weeks I've gained six pounds. I have started getting a little swollen. I just had to take off my ring a week ago. I got this little ring from, I think from the BX on base, the little store on base, um, just to wear as like my little fake wedding ring uh, because I just can't be ringless and I'm not a big fan of the rubber rings. like. That's not really my style. So I got this guy to supplement until I can fit my ring back on. Um, my nails are so crazy, sorry. <laughs> if you see them, don't comment and clown me. I have an appointment next week with my nail girl, but I don't wanna go to anybody else and she didn't have any openings. So yeah, that's that. Um, I So I'm exhausted, I've gained 20 pounds. 
I am so hot, you guys. Like, having my first summer baby is no joke. I feel overwhelmingly hot all the time. Like, literally, my AC is on. There has to be a fan right next to me. It's just really intense. I'm not, I've never swollen while I was pregnant. Usually, like, that last two to three weeks, I have to take off my ring. Um, sometimes, like, after my IV, my feet get really swollen. But other than that, I never swell while I'm pregnant. So, this time around, being hot and getting a little swollen in my hands has not been my favorite thing in the world. Um, so like I said, I'm measuring really big. So at our 32 week ultrasound, he was measuring in the 90th percentile. In the ultrasound before that, he was measuring in like the 80 something percentile. So it's like he's consistently getting bigger. Um, and my stomach always measures, measures big. I've gained 20 pounds, but if you know me and you saw me in person, you would realize that I haven't gained 20 pounds everywhere. I am pretty much the same size everywhere except for my stomach. I wear the same bras, um, the same like leggings. I'm not buying any maternity pants or bottoms. Um, but my stomach is just enormous. Like my arms are pretty much the same size, my hands, my face, my feet, like my shoes fit, all of those things that tend to happen. Um, to pregnant women a lot when they gain weight everywhere has not been the case with me and so I um, Think that they're right about his size. Okay, the biggest update is at my appointment on Yesterday my appointment yesterday the doctor said that after my 36 weeks ultrasound we to come straight over to his office depending on how the baby measures then if he is measuring uh, still in the 90th percentile, my stomach keeps growing at this rate that it's growing, then we are going to talk uh, moving up my due date two to three weeks, which would mean an induction at what we now think is 37 weeks, but could actually be like 39 weeks. But at this rate, it's seeming like he is either a really huge baby or they're off about my due date. And so, you guys, that's only three weeks away. Like. That's it, three weeks. So if I have to be induced at 37 weeks, that's only three weeks away and that is why I've been in crunch time mode. Um, because that's really, really soon and I'm like not at all ready. Like before, as of Sunday, I had not a single thing out of like gift bags or trash bags in the garage. I had like, n we have nothing for him to sleep in. Like I've just not at all been thinking like he's coming so soon, but whether he comes in three weeks or in four weeks, he's coming like very soon. And so I'm feeling like the pressure is on to get everything ready. So basically, uh, this is a really short update. I have to actually go to my NST scan and I'm gonna record a little bit there and then finish this update afterwards. But Basically, moral of the story is 34 weeks pregnant, I've gained 20 pounds, I have to take off my wedding ring, I don't get any sleep at night, his movements hurt so bad. I have been having a lot of Braxton Hicks. Um, he's measuring two to three weeks ahead, my belly's measuring two to three weeks ahead. They might move my due date up, he might be coming around August 1st or 2nd instead of the original due date, which was August 20th. Um, I finally got the baby clothes washed and now I'm putting them away and I'm gonna show you guys his stuff when we get it all figured out and put together. Um, okay, let me show you guys a few of my favorites really quick before I put these all in the drawers. So I'm obsessed with this little outfit. Like, I'm hoping he is as chubby as they think because can you imagine a little chocolate chubby arms and legs sticking out of this little onesie? So cute. Okay. Um, that voice was really good. Okay, you guys, I'm a big fan of neutral. So all of these like neutral color things like are my favorite. They're just my favorite. This is my friend Tatiana made for him. And it's so cute. I love it. It says little brother. I'm so excited to see him in that with his bro. This is probably one of my favorites. <laughs> it's so cute. And it has this little bib that goes with it. It says roar. So cute, I'm so excited to see him in all of this stuff. Super grateful to everyone who came to our baby showers and just blessed us so much with all of these cute little things. And, and then I'm obsessed with all the little jogger pants. 
so these are just some of my favorite pairs because like I said I love neutral colors but these little dinosaur ones are so cute yeah. at my last appointment Noah said when does my mommy's baby get to come out the doctor told him well we have to let the baby get a little bit chubbier that's all we're, we're looking for now is him to just get a little bit chubbier so he can come out healthy and strong so Noah tells me mommy the doctor said the baby needs to get chubbier I don't think that your belly needs to get any bigger. I mean, look at this belly. Shouldn't we do something about this? Shouldn't we make the baby come now so it doesn't keep getting bigger? And I was like, first of all, little boy, like, <laughs> you're right. Yeah, sure, my stomach is enormous, but didn't nobody ask you, okay? Go sit down somewhere. Like, kids really just think they can say whatever they want and just because they're cute and they have these soft little voices they can insult you and tell you you look like the nutty professor and the king of kong had a baby together and that is you and you just supposed to be okay with it like i have feelings noah like okay i have feelings too like dang stop talking about how big my belly is everybody talk about how big my belly is it's like, you don't think I look in the mirror every day? You don't think I carry this baby around? I know how big my belly is. Y'all don't always gotta talk about how big my belly is. It's big, I get it, I get it, it's big. We get it. You big man. Another thing that has been driving me so crazy is everywhere I go, I have my kids because guess what? Because that's how it works when you're a stay-at-home mom with no family in town, okay? I have my kids everywhere, I get it. They're young, it looks like a lot of them, I'm pregnant, I get it. Why do people always have to comment on it? Literally, everywhere we go, somebody is like, wow, another one, or I hope that's not another boy, or oh, what are you having, a boy? Oh, how disappointing, like, what? Or like, your hands are so full. Oh my gosh, your hands are full. Oh, you got your hands full. Oh, you must be exhausted. Like, I am exhausted. You see me walking all the way down this hill into my doctor's appointment with three kids, this big old stroller, this big old belly. It's 98 degrees outside, and you just wanna walk by with your Birkenstocks on, talking about how exhausted I must be and how much my hands are full. Lend me a hand, sis. You got two free hands. You ain't doing nothing. You got something to say. Push the stroller then. Pick up one of these kids and carry them in the doctor. If not, just be like, girl, you look, you doing a good job. You got this. You, sis, slay. You slay in this pregnancy and all them kids. Have three more because you doing such a good job. That's the type of stuff I want people to say to me. Not... Oh, so many kids. Oh, you must be so tired. Oh, your belly is so big. Oh, not another boy. I'm good over here. We good, okay? We love our boys. I'm having as many kids as I want. And if, if you ain't gonna help me, if you ain't gonna buy me some diapers or some wipes or push the stroller for me, don't say nothing. Thank you. That's it. That's all I ask. Thank you. Thanks. So this is this is the only newborn clothes that we have. Here is the zero to three. And then we have three months, three to six months. And then I'll put all his socks and hats and little mittens and all of that in there when they are done. Okay, so I just got back from my doctors from the NST scan. Everything looks good. Here's my belly. What? Um, there's the belly. Uh, it's really big, really heavy, really low. Um, yeah. Um, but that was it. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. I'm gonna go cook these guys dinner. I always appreciate you watching my videos. Chat with me down in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, I'll be back next week with another video for you guys. Much love and hasta luego.